ran cross country in high school. That's uh, not what I would call a fun sport at all. Here's what you do, run. That's it, that's it. We, we had a coach, I don't know why. Uh, his job every day was basically to say, go. Good Nation, what is up? We are back and better than ever with a new edition of the Weekly Rundown. I'm your host, John Dolovecki. And I'm the better host, Wesley Harden. Ridge Runner Nation, we need your help. We need to get John a superlative. Obviously, Michael Owen is the faster host. I'm the better host, but John just can't be your host. That's just unacceptable. Drop a comment with a superlative for John. Nevertheless, what are we talking about this week, John? All right, this week on the show, we have results from the Pistol Ultra Virtual Run, Gabriel Waters' fastest 100 miler, John Kelly's self-hosted Barkley Marathon, and more. We'll also take a look at all of your amazing activities on the world of Strava. And with further ado, let's get started with the legend known as Mr. Paul Barty. Paul Barty was back in action again this week, which is absolutely zero surprise to anyone as he completed the weekly half marathon again. Barty said that running will probably be the only thing that is normal this week in life. Boy, was he right. Running is currently the one aspect that almost feels normal. Uh, thanks for the positive words, Barty. We'll see you next week. The Pistol Ultra Run, which normally takes place in Alcoa, Tennessee, turned into a virtual race this past weekend. This race started in 2013 and has distances from 50K all the way up to 100 miles. If that isn't enough for you, they also have a double barrel option where runners can choose to do a 50K and 50 miler back to back or a 100K and 50 mile combo or the infamous 100 mile, 50 mile combo, which is just absolutely wild. Normally runners are greeted to aid stations that look like this throughout the race. Are you feeling lucky? Virtual results have yet to be posted at the time of the recording, but I think it is safe to assume that these runners have accomplished some epic feats this weekend. Congrats to everyone who took part in the virtual pistol ultra run this year. I know that next year will be a tremendous party. And now it's time for our rant of the week. This one has me absolutely fuming with everything going on involving COVID-19. How in the world are people still taking photos post-run? At the time of this recording, Ohio enacted a stay-at-home order and other states will soon be following suit. Outdoor exercise is still allowed and encouraged if you are maintaining social distancing while doing so. So why in the world am I seeing posts where there are literally people standing on top of each other taking a group photo? Is that really necessary right now? I know that runners think that they are invincible to everything and especially out on the trail, but this is absolutely reckless behavior and I encourage everyone who did this to take a look in the mirror and ask, is it really worth it? I'm going to hope that the answer is no, but if for some reason you just can't live without your precious post-run photos with the same five people you run with every single week, then take an individual photo of everyone in the group by themselves, DM them to us, and I will Photoshop everyone together and send it back within one to two business days. Seriously, I'd rather take an hour creating a post-run photo for you guys than to see on Strava everyone on top of each other on a group photo. Let's all strive to be better than this moving forward. End rant. And now it's time for our Ridgeline news segment. First, we have some absolutely amazing news to bring to you. Jonathan Bernard is back to running. If you remember a while ago, we had him on a trail talk to talk about his path to recovery and the surgery involving that. JB had surgery on both of his hips, which involved an 18 month recovery process. That 18 months is officially passed and JB got all cleared and almost immediately hopped back on the trails. JB, we are excited for you and we're glad that you're running again. I'm excited for you to hopefully run Cascade Crest next year. After the infamous Barkley Marathons were canceled this year, John Kelly decided to create his own course locally and run five loops within the 60 hour limit. John attached a flag from every country that would have been in attendance at the Barkley race this year, and he said it was quote, mostly fun, also quite painful. Completing his fifth loop, John brought his final, total final time to 52 hours and 39 minutes, successfully completing the first Barkley substitute ever attempted. All right, so you get the idea, Red Runners Live. It's a show, we do it, it's live. It's pretty great. This Thursday, we're coming at you with another live show featuring Gabe Rainwater and his impressive 100 mile training run, and Travis Zipfel with his amazing horse riding abilities. Hope you can all join us on Thursday the 26th for this live show. Now for our Strava Rundown. Remember, if you wanna get noticed on the rundown, join the Ridge Runners Club on Strava by visiting that link in the description below. And Wesley, what are you doing? 
Well, we preluded to it earlier in the show, but Gabe Rainwater did something that's absolutely lit the Strava world on fire this weekend. Gabe ran 100 miles in his backyard in 17 hours and 51 minutes. What's more impressive is this amount of vert that he climbed during this, which was a total of 20,000 feet of elevation gain. Absolutely ridiculous. His time and vert made this one of the most impressive ultra efforts I have seen by anyone in the ultra community all year. We are excited to hear all about this adventure on the upcoming Ridge Runners live show. I know, I can't wait. I'm not going to sleep the next three days in anticipation for it, so I'm excited. But just make sure you don't fall asleep on the show. That, that will not happen. It can never happen. In honor of Ohio's Backyard Ultra, Jessica Kopowitz ran 44 miles this past weekend in the ridges at Ohio University. She ran 10 backyard style loops. She also had some friends join her over the course of this awesome run and epic adventure. Uh, this is also, fun fact, the longest run to ever take place in its entirety at the ridges in Ohio University. That is a fun little fact there for you, Jessica, and it just makes your adventure even more epic. Well done. Nick Sheridan ran a solo 5k time trial in 1627 according to Strava splits. Way to get after it on your own. I think that time trials are a great way to gauge fitness moving forward. If you had a race scheduled, why not get after it by yourself and see what you can do? You may surprise yourself. Great stuff, Nick, for getting out there. Lindsay and Matt Freeman ran a Mount Eaton buggy loop and saw something that I've been longing to see my entire life. Yes, that is indeed a Budweiser Clydesdale horse. I've never seen horse horse eat grass like that as gracefully as this guy did. I mean, look at him out there, just absolutely gnawing, chewing, swallowing that grass like a horse would. We'll have to have Travis, we'll have to have Travis give us some uh, expertise on that. Uh, Travis pro. does not own horses, but he just rides them occasionally. So, um, but I'm sure he knows a little bit about the horses grazing ideologies. Nevertheless, next time you guys need to bring Solomon out and we can recreate the commercial. Well, you only need the light. With the dog and the horse, I think Solomon, the trail dog, would absolutely love that with this guy, this horse here. <laughs> Epic run, guys. Chris Smith had a race canceled this past weekend, but that didn't stop him from getting out the door and knocking out a 50K distance run. Looks like he ran all around Wasatch Lake. Solid work, Chris. Yeah, and Justin and Kim Wickham finally got off the couch. Well done, guys. According to their Strava, of course. I feel like everyone can relate to this right now. It's either a couch or running. Awesome run, guys. Corey Forrester had an epic hike with family over the weekend in Damascus, Virginia. He took epic photos and saw this little guy on the trail. I hope that snake is also practicing social distancing because I do not want to see him out on the trail either. But anyways, way to get after it. Paul DeFord also got after it this weekend due to the cancellation of OBU and decided to run his first 50K. His aid station supply, however, was I'd say about a seven out of 10. Nick Voss is screaming right now, asking, where are the OCPs? I honestly don't know how you finish a 50K distance run without any oatmeal cream pies. Epic stuff, and congrats on the distance PR. Annie Lang dropped a beautiful reminder for us all. She said, spring begins anyway. Definitely powerful to remember that even though times are tough and going to be difficult in the future, some things will still remain the same. Flowers are still gonna bloom, and I can't wait for it. Awesome run, Annie. Jacob Conrad and Arlen Glick did something that knocked me off my rocker this past weekend. I'm still recovering from the fall I took. They both ran 50 miles at a blistering pace. Nothing like running 50 miles at a sub eight pace for funsies, right? These two men are on another level. Great work, guys. Chowder Robinson and Tim Crow took to Mohican State Park over the weekend and knocked out 38 miles. If you don't follow Chadwick on Strava, you need to just so you can see all the epic photos and comments. Glad to see you guys are still getting after it and enjoying the nice weather. Shane Early took some of the best photos of the week during his run at the Hocking Hill State Park. It must have been eerie to see this place so empty. It also had to be super magical to have it all to yourself. Great work, Shane. And with that, thanks for tuning into this week's rundown from the Ridge Runners. Be sure to check back next week to stay updated on all things trail and ultra, mostly east of the Mississippi. Except for Nick Voss. Except for Nick Voss. In addition, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit that bell below if you'd like to be notified every time we release a new video. If you enjoy our shows, give it a share. Also hit that like button along the way. We greatly appreciate it. I'm your host, John Dolovacki. And I'm your better host, Wesley Harton. And we'll see you next week on the Weekly Rundown.